Hello and welcome to week one of AC 1110. We are now in week one. If we scroll up to the top, we can see that we are in AC 1110 accounting fundamentals. We're not going to take a look at the assignments for week one. All weeks will look similar to this where we'll have the objectives. I'll take, I'll let you take a look at that. We've got the topics. We have the lesson. Lesson will be that we will be doing chapters one and chapter two. Mainly focusing on chapter one, starting on chapter two. We will continue on chapter two next time. We're introducing you to the McGraw-Hill Connect. So remember, McGraw-Hill Connect, we want to sign up for that and get into that as soon as possible. That's this icon here, and you're going to need this information to sign up the first time. Once you do, then it will look like this. You'll click on Connect. You'll go into Connect. It will look like this. Then once you're in here, you'll have Week 1 here. So much of your information will be in Connect. However, you really want to check off that you have done it in Moodle Rooms. So for example, I'm going to go back to Moodle Rooms up top. I'm going to scroll down to, you've got these hyperlinks here. These will be links to instructional videos. I highly recommend taking a look at the ebook, the save and sort data, and the reading. Click on those. Those will open a website. The website that it will open will be located. I'm going to scroll up here. They're, they're located in the same location as this website. So if anything runs slow or the links aren't working, let me know and I'll take a look at it. And also, uh, you can also try clicking on this link, which will take you there directly. And we are in Charter College. We're in Accounting Fundamentals. And if you scroll down, you'll have the hyperlinks for all the courses. And you'll see that same information here. So this will just be a hyperlink that will scroll down to the bottom of the page. So I highly recommend taking a look at the ebook, the Learn Smart and the assignment. So if you scroll down here, then it'll show you this information here. Now, if any of this is running slowly, the same information should be on, if I'm going to go back to Moodle Rooms, it should be on the YouTube channel. So if you go to the YouTube channel, you should be able to find the same information down on the YouTube channel. It might not be quite as well organized, but it should be in here somewhere. If you go on the playlist down here, ebook, assignment, learn smart. Those, you really want to take a look at those as soon as possible because those will help you to learn how to navigate through the resources. So once you get into Connect, first thing, get into Connect. Once you're in Connect, then you have the ebook within Connect on this side. You're going to want to learn to use that as efficiently as possible. You can save it to a PDF and, and read it offline or print parts of it so that you can use it offline. You want to get used to knowing how to do that. I'm going to go back to Moodle Rooms, I'm going to scroll down. The next thing that we have is everything from the discussion forums, the assignments, the homework, and the quizzes. These are This is what we need to get done by the end of the week. Everything is due by the end of the week, by Sunday of the end of the week. This is where you want to check everything off. Much of your work in this class will be done in Connect up here, Connect, and this is Moodle Rooms, but you really want to check it off here. This is the, You can print it out. You can print this page out if you want and just check everything off. Or you can check it off here as you go as well. We have these little check marks. They're not by every assignment, but once we get the assignment done, we can check these off. So here's the discussion form. You want to get this done, check it off here. You want to do the assignment, check it off. You can say, okay, that's done. The Moodle Rooms assignment, you want to check it off. And this is where you really want to go through and check off that you have done everything, even though much of the work will be in Connect. Reason being is that not all the work will be in Connect. So if we go up to Connect to here, we can see that we have these assignments here, but this isn't including everything. Everything will be included in Moodle Rooms. So this is where you want to check off the work. First thing we have, discussion forms. Discussion forms are worth 21% of the grade. Huge piece of the grade. If we look at the syllabi just real quick, 21% discussion forms. You have the most control over the discussion forms. Highly recommend the objective of getting full credit on this 21%, getting as much as full credit on the assignments and as much as full credit on the homework as possible. You have the most control over those in that order and then doing the, the quizzes. And if you don't do as well as you think, you should have a good cushion in order to get a good uh, grade or boost your grade up if you work in that order. So therefore the discussion forms, how do you get full credit? You got to post at least four times. I highly recommend posting more than four times. You got to respond to the first question that is in there. You can respond to other students. You can respond to more posts that I put in there. Uh, note that I'm going to put a ton of posts in there 
just to give you the information so that you can respond to it. So you don't have to respond to every post that I put in there, even if I put it to you, your particular uh, string of posts. You can post to anyone, but the minimum that you need in essence by the end of the week is a minimum of four posts. I would post more than that and make sure to get a full credit on the discussion forums because you have the most control over it. The assignments, one's going to be in Connect, one will be in Moodle Rooms. This is Moodle Rooms that we're looking at right now. This is McGraw-Hill Connect up here. The Connect assignment is usually a longer assignment. So if you go into Connect, uh, it will take more time, but I'm going to give you some resources that will able to pick up a lot of points in Connect in a fairly short period of time and will give you an example problem much of the time that will really allow you to pick up a lot of points. So, for example, if we go to Connect up here, you open that up. This is the long assignment. So the one that looks like a notepad is usually the longer assignment. These two paperclip, that means that you do not turn them into Connect. If it's a paperclip, you don't turn it into Connect. This first paperclip will give you a hyperlink that will give you an example problem that will help you with inputting this problem. So this problem here will be assisted by this paperclip. This paperclip you do not need to turn in. It's just a resource for you. It's not homework. It's just a resource. This paperclip here is going to be a Moodle Rooms assignment. This is the one that you're going to need to turn into Moodle Rooms, but we gave you the paperclip just to show you it. So for example, if I go back to Moodle Rooms and we say, okay, that we check off that one. That's the paperclip. The second one, this is the Moodle Rooms assignment. If you click on this assignment within Moodle Rooms, this is Moodle Rooms, and you click on this icon, it will download an Excel worksheet. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to submit that here. Once the week has opened, there'll be a submit button here. You can also access that same worksheet in Connect. I'm going to go to Connect up top. And through this website, you'll see the same worksheet. You can download the same Excel sheet. The reason it is in Connect is solely that people don't skip it. We want to put it in multiple places just so people that are looking to connect don't overlook the fact that they need to do this assignment. However, you don't want to turn it in here to connect. The paperclip means that you don't need to turn it in to connect. This particular one, the second one, you need to turn into Moodle Rooms. So if you scroll over here, this is Moodle Rooms. They will be a submit button down here. That's where you want to turn that one in. Let me know if you have questions on that. I'm going to go back to the cookie trail. Notice this is the cookie trail home miscellaneous this is the course that we're in we're in week one assignment two i'm going to go back to the course title here actually i'm going to go back to the date which will be week one so i'm going to go back to week one and scroll down week one is open and look at the next two assignments we have the x other two which will be in connect once again these are not in Moodle rooms they're in a connect but you want to check them off here like we did this we did this you want to check them off within Moodle rooms the assignment will be in connect so connect is up here and these two are the homeworks. So you're going to go into here. You're going to go in here. These are going to be shorter problems that basically are going to be multiple choice problems. There should only be uh, around 25 to 30 of them. Once you're done with them, you can still keep on working those problems to practice for the quiz. These are probably the best practice for the quiz. But once you're done with them, don't get confused because a lot of, sometimes it can look like you have to keep doing the problems even once they're done there's only 25 to 30 of them once you're done you can go back in there and you can do a lot more questions after that but if you take a look at the assignments and the, the grades within connect it'll say that you have completed it and just make sure that uh, you, you know that you have completed it or you haven't completed it and then uh, move forward from there in order to do that i would watch some videos on how to do the assignments and the homework. So once you step into the homework, the assignments, there's going to be some particular things that are very useful to know that can make the assignments go a lot quicker. So this video will show you some of that. And this video will show you how to learn, do the learn smarts a lot more efficiently. So before you attempt the assignments and or the homework, watch uh, this video on how to do the assignments and it will show you a lot of how to pick up a lot of points using the resources that are available. Same with the homework. The Learn Smarts are, you want to get used to learning the Learn Smarts. Therefore, watch the video before you attempt them, and you will be much more comfortable working within them. Then, the last thing we're going to do is the quiz. 
the quiz will once again be in uh, McGraw Hills Connect, and it is due by Sunday. So make sure to get the quiz in by Sunday because the quiz cannot generally be made up. We can often make up, possibly depending on circumstances, although there'll be late work points, some of the assignments and homework after the uh, date of the end of the week. However, quizzes, charter policy generally says, no, we can't, we can't make up late work on the quizzes. Therefore, these are multiple cho choice quizzes. Make sure to take them by Sunday. Don't get a zero on it, even if you're not, if you, if you're not prepared for the quiz. Take the quiz. Make sure to pick up any points that we can on them. Remember that they're worth 33% of the grade. So if we don't do as well as we can, then we can pick up the points on the midterm and the final. But uh, try not to get a zero on the quiz. Make sure to take those by Sunday. And then I will enter the grades all the way up here. Your grade book, the ultimate grade book will be here. There will be grade book on, there will be a grade book within Connect. However, I will enter the grades into Moodle Rooms following uh, Monday or Tuesday by the end of Tuesday of each week. And that's where the ultimate grades will be that we'll push out. So you're going to want to check the grades by the end of the following Tuesday. They won't be in there fully until that time. So your goal is to go through week one, check everything off, make sure that you have done them with this section. And then the grade will be in there by Tuesday. And then you want to go in and verify that the grade is uh, correct and ask me any questions at that time. Then move on to the following week. Also remember that the accounting is cumulative. So you really want to get a jump on it as as soon as possible. 